Next, we have the trailer of a film that makes us question ourselves and humanity through one woman's story. We'll be talking to the actor and director of the film, Mirjana Karanovic, shortly. But first, let's take a look at the trailer, A Good Wife. And now on Showcase, I'm with Mirjana Karanovic, the director and actor of A Good Wife. Hello and welcome. Hi. Hi. Well, in this movie, you starred in it, you directed it, and yeah. you co-wrote it. Yeah. It sounds personal. Tell us about the story of the movie. Um, it's a story about a woman my age who is happily married with a, with a man uh, 30 years, have three kids, and um, um, her life is very nice, and she's very satisfied with uh, her husband and um, how good father he is and a good uh, husband. And uh, one day she just finds out that um, during the war he, he, he killed some people and uh, he finds out the, the, the proof. And then um, his movie is about uh, her. Um, she has to make some decision about her future how to deal with this truth, uh, which is uh, shocking for you, yeah. for, he, for her. <laughs> for her. Um, did your experiences in your home country in the 90s and maybe things you saw and empathize mm. with motivate mm. you to make this movie? Yeah, um, when, the start, the, when the war, I mean, not one war, but wars, started uh, in the 90s all over the, this uh, ex-Yugoslavia um, um, country, um, I, I thought that it could last a couple months or um, everybody will see how absurd this and how it's, it's wrong. But um, it lasts uh, so many years and so many people suffered. And um, I was uh, shocked that um, so many people around me just um, kept quiet and didn't say anything and just um, um, trying to to take care about uh, their lives and said we can do anything about this we are just you know like helpless people and um, and we just mind our own business and I, I can't deal with this so um, it's a story about responsibility because uh, all the time we support by this silence uh, um, uh, leadership of uh, uh, in, in Serbia who is actually support the, the war conflicts. Yeah. So this is a kind of my reflection of, uh, of this, this era and also how I think that people maybe should deal with, uh, with this 
time with, Bob, with, the, with the recent past just to to see what what happened yes and it's so recent as well as you yeah. said um, how was the transition from being an actor to being the director of the movie <laughs> and what made you decide to do it is it to convey the emotion better was it difficult at times um, I don't know I did I, I in, in, in the beginning, when I st started to, to write the, the script and everything, I, 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 I haven't thought about myself as a director, mm -hmm. but um, as somebody who needs to tell the story. So when um, we scheduled the, the shooting uh, in uh, three or four months, uh, I, I realized that uh, I have such a... Uh, strong um, ideas about how uh, in what kind of movie I want to, to, to make so I said okay if you really want to control everything and you have a, such a strong emotions you should do everything and not uh, put somebody else just to to, to, to have right a credit thing, as, yeah. as a director you should do it yourself even I was terrified with this so I just start to to, to to real to um, produce and 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 this, make this story alive or, um, as a through the acting and also through directing yeah well the questions the film asks are so um relevant to, to today and timely it because it asks the question that um can you still be happy and go to your life when you know somebody else is suffering which is something that happens even when we watch the news yeah, yeah. Uh, do you hope people will ask these questions did you find yeah. any answers yourself yeah um, I mean you you have to go on with your life I mean yeah. uh, so many horrible accidents happen in this world every day but um, you can do both you can be happy in your personal life, but also not to close eyes on somebody else's uh, um, uh, tragedies. So I think that uh, we just have to be open to what's going on around uh, uh, us. And also I, I, I think that um, all, all lives of the people in the world are somehow connected and uh, it's it's not that something happening in some other part of the world and here you just say, oh, uh, it doesn't have to do anything with me. But uh, because more than ever we are connected and everything just happened in a waves and um, just uh, you can't isolate yourself. Yes, yes, very, very good. Uh, you can do both. Yeah, yes. Yes. Miliana Karanovic, it was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.